Hello guys, Ash and Mask here again, bringing you another episode of Minecraft, and things are a little bit different here, aren't they? I've sort of moved away from the foresty theme of the Let's Play world. Don't worry, I haven't gone completely mad and changed worlds. This is just a little bit of creative mode, and um, we are in fact in the new snapshot, if you hadn't guessed by the presence of all these uh, weird and wonderful blocks. Yes, I have been playing around with stained clay, because when I saw that post on Reddit from... Um, the new snapshot, I instantly fell in love. These are such an amazing block. And uh, I think they are going to change the way that Minecraft builds in a way that we've not seen, you know, since the changes in 1.0 where we got all that new stuff. So I'm just going to jump straight into it. I'm going to show you a couple of ideas that I've been playing around with. The first is using them for modern builds. Now, modern builds in the past have been really tricky. You've had to rely on primarily quartz, but before we didn't have quartz, before we had quartz, I should say, um, we had to rely on things like snow and wool if you wanted to do sort of any kind of modern minimalist build. And the problem with snow and wool is that they have these really ugly grainy textures on them. I'm just going to switch to peaceful at the moment because those slimes are driving me mad. As I was saying, you had to use this really dirty or really grainy looking snow or wool. And that wasn't ideal, but with these new stained clay blocks, particularly the white one, you've got quite a neutral colour scheme that you can work with now in conjunction with quartz. And that lets you create these like really modern villas. And um, I'm really looking forward to seeing what people can do with this. I've opted for a sort of minimalist villa look. We've got a nice little painting there. Finding a painting that fits in with these colour schemes is pretty tricky at times, but I've also thrown a little bit of uh, mushrooms in just to give it a little bit of a more decorated feel. Now, the second thing, as well as modern builds, builds? Builds. It's so much easier to create themes now. Like I, in my Let's Play world, as you hopefully know, hopefully you've been watching that, um, you'll know that I like to build in a sort of foresty theme. I'll use logs, I'll use leaves, I'll use dark wood, that sort of thing. These new clay blocks make theming so much easier. Now, we've got pretty much every color that you could hope for in a smooth, um, wall so you can create things like this jungle theme really really easily i've opted personally for a grass floor with a little bit of soul sand to represent some dirt and we've got this sort of leaf litter flooring which is just carpet some of them have got lights underneath that's a really easy way to light up your homes now by the way and um, we've got some vines on the walls as well as the jungle leaf ceiling so that makes that infinitely easier for us I've passed this over into sort of a nether themed room here using what they call the blue stained clay. It's not really blue now, is it? Um, but the red, the red is quite nice. Works well with the nether brick. And of course we've got these new core blocks which are as close to jet black as we can hope for really. In the past we had to use obsidian or black wool and the problem with black wool of course is that it's incredibly flammable so you couldn't use it for things like this. So it's sort of blown our... What's what's the phrase I'm looking for? Blown the window of opportunity wide open? I can't think of a way to phrase what I'm thinking. But um, the opportunities for builders now are huge. There is just so much that we are going to be able to do with these new blocks. Of course, as well, we've got the new lapis. Can't really forget about that. It's not really changed that much, to be honest. Um, it's certainly not going to affect the way that I build. I've used lapis in the past, and I've used it like this, and it doesn't look that much different, but... You can still make some nice builds with it. That was just really quickly thrown together. It's not supposed to look like anything. So don't worry too much about that. But as well as showing you the designs that I have been using, I also wanted to share with you guys a couple of color scheming tips if you are looking to build in hard clay yourself. Uh, the first is this earthly sort of uh, color scheme that we used in the jungle themed one over there. You can throw in things like uh, watermelons, different kind of logs, planks, Whatever you want. These are only guides. They're not supposed to be the uh, be-all and end-all. We've now got a warmer sort of colour scheme using the yellow and the orange hard clay. You can mix that up with gold if you're feeling uh, a little bit luxurious, or you can keep it with cream colours like birch and sandstone. Of course, we have the sort of nethery themed, maybe the end. It would look good in either colour scheme, which is the blue and the purple blocks, and uh, we can use that with mycelium if you're lucky enough to have it with coal blocks, of course, and with nether brick. And of course, we now actually have something that goes with brick for a change. It's nice to see something that goes with brick because I've never built in brick. I can't 
Without these blocks, I can't really see myself doing it. But anyway, the red and the pink go really nicely with it. Don't forget we've got the default hard clay as well, which has got a kind of fleshy colour to it. It doesn't sound very appealing when I put it like that, does it? But it goes really, really nicely with things like bricks, things like sandstone. And of course, we have the greys and the blues which go together. There are no real blue stained clays. That's my only criticism, and I'll show you now what I mean. But you can still use the greys with things like ice or lapis and things like blue wool, of course. And uh, don't forget, you can still use default clay blocks because you need a clay block if you're going to make hard clay. So um, don't forget, you can still use that as an option. Of course, it goes well with cobble and stone bricks. Also, as well, we have colour schemes now that can go with pumpkin lighting in walls, which I am so happy about because in my Let's Play world, all my walls are like three blocks thick because... I want to use pumpkin as lighting, or I have to end up hiding it underneath a pile of leaves. So, on to my one and only criticism of this, and that is the blue blocks of clay. This is what Mojang are calling the blue block of clay. This is the light blue. That's the corresponding wool. Excuse me one moment while I just turn this annoying rain off. And apparently I can't type. Oh, it's, it's because it's not a sat command, that's why. Sorry, I'm still slightly new to this whole creative thing, but still. Um, yeah, as I was saying, blue, light blue, blue and light blue. They don't really match, do they? They're in fact a little bit closer to purple and grey, so if I was going to do an underwater theme, it might be a little bit trickier, but because we've got lapis, because we've got blue wool, you can work around it fairly easily, so not much of a criticism. So that's what I wanted to share with you guys. I hope you've enjoyed this little bit of the uh, episode and that hopefully it gives you some inspiration. But now we are going to check out some other parts of this snapshot. So we are going to head over to back to my Let's Play world now. Ouch. Okay, that probably wasn't the smartest idea for a transition now that I think about it. But we are back at the cow pen minigame farm whatever we want to call it and i made it into a more of a minigame although it needs a lot of refining at the moment but the general idea is we have some cows in there hopefully more but they have killed their friends by pushing him into the wall again because for some reason baby cows really really want to go back to their parents um i might have to look into solving that maybe there's a maximum distance like if there's so many blocks away then they won't try and you know, try and get back to their parents. But anyway, the general idea of the game, once I get it refined, is that you have these cows, and you also have... Oop, I forgot you can't shift and hit that. You also have these guys. Now, I need to make the pen a bit bigger because these guys keep jumping to try and get me, and they set themselves on fire. But the general idea of the game would be that you are using your fishing rod. Now that I think about it, the zombies are never going to spread out. But the general idea was going to be that you try and had to try and hook the zombies while avoiding the cows. But now that I'm thinking this through, it's not the best of ideas. Because it's just really, really easy. Oh well, at least we still have the entertainment value of just killing the cows all the time. Uh, potentially we might be able to do something with pigs, but that's that idea down the drain. But still. It's a way to get cooked beef at the moment. Anyway, we are going to jump into the world of the snapshot. Now there are a number of things that we need to do. Well, I say need, that I want to do. And the first is to see how we make these new blocks. So we are going to see if we can make a hay bale. I would imagine that that's like that. Yes, it is. Very good. All right, this is perfect because this is kind of like the keystone of my factory idea. We're going to have a processing area where we're going to make it look like it's being processed into hay bales and stuff like that. So that's nice. It also is going to give us an easy way to store all this wheat because um, those farms that I made are pretty effective and we're already getting a lot of wheat. So it's going to be a nice different way to um, solve that problem. The next thing I want to look at is carpets. And is it like that? No, I have no idea how to make carpets then. Um, interesting. Is it going to be like two of them there? Yes, it is. Okay, so you get two two blocks of wool makes three carpets, so that's quite nice. I just can't get over how weird it is not being able to see your hand there. Like, every, every other item that you hold, it's right there by your right-hand side, but with carpets, no. You just stick them there like that. I wonder if they'll change that, because that is kind of weird. Oh, I just realised you can actually make carpets in that inventory. So that's kind of nice. 
Um, the other thing, we're going to have to go back to... Not the storage room, but the place where the zombie grinder is to check, because we are going to see about making coal blocks. And luckily, coal is one of the things that I have hundreds of. Actually, I need to check, can you turn that back into wheat? No, you can't. What happens if we break it? Sorry, these are things that I have no clue about. Okay, it just gives us a block back. So once you put it into block form, you can't... Well, you seem to not be able to get it back. Which is interesting, I guess. Personally, I would have preferred it if we could get it back. It would mean you can actually store wheat, but... Not the end of the world. Now, the next thing. Coal blocks. Luckily, we have bucket loads of coal. I'd imagine, again, that this is just a 9x9. Nine nine. Yep. If we put it back, we can get them back, yes. Uh, there is one thing that I wanted to try, actually. I need to be able to find my flint and steel low first. It's around here somewhere. Don't say I don't have a flint and tinder around. Ugh, ridiculous. Okay, so we are not going to test flammability just yet. Unless... Sorry, these chests are still an absolute mess. Okay, no, it doesn't look like we've got anything here. In this one, maybe? Nope, because we don't have any iron. Okay, we won't worry about that now. I just wanted to see if it ignited. Um, was like nether brick or something like that. Because that's what I would kind of expect, maybe. Seeing as it's coal, after all. Uh, what else is there in the new snapshots? Of course, horses are the big thing, and I'm going to go on an adventure for them now. I'm just trying to remember if there's anything that I've forgotten off the top of my head. Can't think of anything, so I'm just going to load up on some supplies. We need to go... Actually, we need to go back down to where we just come from. We're just going to dump all this in here because we don't need this sort of thing where we're going. I swear I made a compass. We saw a compass in those chests, right? Oh, of course, I missed out on making hard clay. We'll do that now as well. Now, from what I, I know, you've just got to stick clay in a furnace and... Bingo, it makes hard clay. Like that. So that's relatively simple. And then you just apply the dye to it and you get the colour that you want. Right, we do have a compass. We've got plenty of wheat. We need saddles, saddles, saddles. Oh, he's escaped. How has that happened? That'll do. I can't remember where I put my sword. I think it was in... Where did I put my sword? Oh, it, it doesn't even matter anymore. Right. Actually, it does matter. I need that sword. As you can see, I am still putting the highest level of preparation into these episodes. Oops. What on earth did I do with my sword? Oh, it, it's, it's not important. So there is a hardened clay. And have I got anything that I can die with? Anything at all? We do. We have a rose. Wonderful. So we get a hardened clay. Oh, wait a second. I don't think... Yeah, I'm going to check, but I don't think that's how this works. No, it doesn't. What we need is um, eight blocks of clay. So we will snag those. Get to our crafting bench, and you put your die in the middle, and then ring it with the hardened clay. And bingo, we have this new beautiful block. Which I'm hopefully going to be using a lot of in this world. But yes, we are now going to go on a journey for... Ah, there we go, I knew they were in here somewhere. We're going to go on a journey for horses, and I am not going to make you guys sit as I go wandering through a load of planes... Looking for, um, looking for something which is really, really rare. So, I'm going to make a cut now. I will bring you guys back once I have something to show you. Guys, guys, I think, I think we've got some. Is, am I right in saying that? Yes, they definitely are. Sweet. That took a fair while. I've been walking for maybe 20 minutes or so. But hopefully this is going to be worth it. I don't trust that lava. Guys, make sure you stay away from that lava. Okay, we've got a spotty one. A black one. There was one up here at least. At least two, I can see. 
But yeah, I've been through so many extreme hills, biomes. <gasps> There's baby ones. There's three baby ones. Okay, so we can't take that guy because that guy's a parent. <gasps> There's more over here. This is like horse heaven. Oof, this one's feisty. Nice. And more babies. So do they just breed naturally? Holy crap, there's more. And the skellies around as well. These guys are never ending. Oh, there's pure white ones. There's like one of every single kind here. This is incredible. Right, so I've got the coordinates up on my screen, so I know if I ever need to find this place again, I can. Because, whoa, there are hundreds. Hundreds in this plains biome. Which one do we want? I'm thinking either one that's pure white or pure black, but these guys would fit in with the, the foresty theme. But brown is a bit boring. We're going to go for a black one. The first guy that we saw, the pure black one. Let's go grab him. Now, if my understanding of this is right, we've got to like force feed him hay and then he'll love us and let us jump on his back without throwing us off. So we're going to see how that works. You're not black. You're black and brown, aren't you? Yeah. He needs a name as well, and if you've been watching past episodes, you know I'm pretty bad with names. So, um, yeah, suggestions would be welcome. To know if, if he's black. We, uh, I just, I think of really cliched names, like, black makes me think Shadowfax, but we can't call him Shadowfax because then you get done for copyright infringement. But no, what, what, we need a name. Okay, you're gonna be happy enough. You've been, you've had 14 wheat. Oh, I need to have nothing in my, in my hand equipped. That is the important part. Okay, we good? We good? No, not yet. Okay, now we're good. Good guy, good guy. Stick a saddle on you. Okay, he's got quite good health. I don't like that spotty one. Sorry, guy, but you are not particularly attractive. These guys go quick. The Motions feel a little bit jerky, I guess, but still, I'm not going to complain when they go at this speed. Can you get up there, guy? Jump? No. What about up here? Okay, so you're a weird kind of mountain climby horse. Interesting. Um, what's this? Is this like... What happens if you charge it fully? I gotta know. Oh, zombies. Oh, nope, nope, nope. Abort that. We don't want to go jumping down into a canyon. Okay, we need to get this guy back. So, got the coordinates. One minus 1,450 and minus 250. So, let's get home. We are going to go and build this guy a stable where he can live. What I kind of want to see, though, is what happens if he takes damage. Oh, no, we're going to get stuck in a tree instead. Alright, let's see if there's somewhere that I can jump off which isn't going to kill him, but will hurt him. Man, it has not been a good episode for animals these days recently, has it? We've been burning cows alive and then, um, see what happens with horses. Ooh, don't drown. Come on. Come on. I should have brought a leash with me, really, shouldn't I? I didn't think that was one thing that I had forgotten. Oh, we've left him behind. Oh, you can eat while you're on them, of course, because, yeah, they changed the dismount. It's no longer right-click. So that's good. I like that. Okay, this might be a potential area where we can see what damage ha what damage does to him. Nope. He's a hardy horse. We are definitely going to steer clear of that lava pit. Oh, that's quite cool as well. He can walk across um, blocks that are, like, too wide. A gap that's, like, too wide, even. That we wouldn't be able to run across. Okay, let's not go in the water again. Oh, this is sweet. I mean, I wouldn't say I'm a person who supported the idea of horses in Minecraft. Like, people have been asking for them for absolutely ages now, but I gotta admit, this is quite well implemented. Especially with the rate that you can go up mountains. I'm guessing seeing as we don't have a hunger bar, that our hunger isn't getting any lower. Certainly hope that's the case, because that is brilliant if it is. It's going to make exploring so much easier. Yeah. Alright, let's go down onto this ice. And jump. I wonder if the whole, like, if you sprint and jump, it makes you go faster when you're... 
No, it doesn't appear to work with horses. Fair enough, I guess. Can't have everything. Okay, it's getting night, so we want to be careful. I don't have a bow and arrow with me. I do have a fishing rod. Can I fish while I'm... Oh, this could be good. Get up there. Never mind. We'll go around them. Have it your way. He's not great at getting through areas filled with trees, is he? Okay, is there any, any sort of animals? I, I wanted to go for those pigs, but I have a feeling I would end up stuck. Get up there, you can manage that. Oh, I know why, it's because you're too wide and you're getting on, stuck on the tree, aren't you, of course. Hello? Home is that way, how are we going to get over there? Right then. Trying to come up with a name for this guy, what what could we call him? Black Shadow... Mm. I don't know, I'm going to have to think on it. As I say, I'm really bad with names. I can build fine, but naming stuff, no. Definitely not. Let's try it now. Oh, I love it. I'm going to try and come up with something for this, because this could be... Whoa, no. Whew, that hurt me, but not horsey, which is good. This could be dangerous. It's not... He's not moving back very fast. Uh-oh. All right, then. Come over here. Do your worst. Ugh. Wait, what? Oh, man. Minus 300, minus 250. I forgot that I wasn't wearing any armor and that I wasn't blocking. Okay, I'm going to go back and get the horse. Um, that was really stupid of me. But I will um, join you guys again once I've gotten my stuff back. Okay, I think we are nearly there. Now is the time to see if our stuff and our horse is still there, though. Oh, I totally forgot that I, A, that I, I'm not wearing iron armor these days, and B, that... Whew, stuff is still there. And B, that I didn't have a sword equipped. Because normally if you have a sword equipped, it's fine. There's our sword, there's our all-important fishing rod, and there's our boots. Okay. So we've got everything that is important, I think. Oh, and the compass. For the compass? Oh, come on, guy, not now. Not now. Oh, it never rains, it pours. Right, we've got food again. Put your boots on. Alright, where's our horse? You're still there, you're still floundering. Okay, let's see if we can get out of here. Should have brought a leash. Get up. No, not under. No, what are you doing? You don't want to eat that. Oh, there's some more stuff here. Oh, there's some more stuff here. I should probably be a bit more worried about that skeleton, shouldn't I? Oh god, I'm under the ice. Okay, first thing, sword. Oh, I'm drowning. Get out of here. And one more, and phew. Okay, so... I'm going to go to sleep now, so that we don't have any more problems with mobs. Whew. That was scary, I'm not going to lie. That was very scary. Right, guy, where have you gone? Get up. No, I'm not going to take any of your crap today. Phew, right, you are safe. We are safe. Everything's fine. Let's go home. Let's not touch the water again. Ooh, that was scary. I've never been that worried about stuff before because I really, really like having feather falling boots when I'm building and they are a pain to get, so. I wasn't too too worried about the horse because the horse won't despawn, I don't think. At least I hope not because he's got a saddle, so. Ow, ow. I really want to know what this jump bar is for. Does he jump different heights? Ooh, this is a chance to see, is your health going to respawn? Ouch. Yes, your health is going to respawn. Okay, that's good. Oh, the question is, how do we get out of here now? Should we be brave? Let's do it. I have faith in you. Oh, yes. 
Nicely done, guy. You are a very brave horse. Right, let's not go through that cave again, because that ain't gonna work. We'll take the long road. Should probably get this on my action bar, shouldn't I? Let's have a little explore on this area. It's quite a nice area, actually. It's extreme hill. Am I trapped down here, really? I was going to say, it's quite a weird area, nice generation, but if that means I'm trapped, I'm not sure I'm going to be all that appreciative of it. Okay, let's see if we can... We can get up here. Let's not go down there. Let's not go down there again. Okay, we'll go all the way up here. Look at the speed on this guy. Oh, dear. You're fine. We're fine. Everything is fine. Whew, getting a horse is stressful. And they don't take very much ho um, horse damage. They don't take very much fall damage. I wonder if they're affected by me wearing feather falling boots. That'd be cool. Okay, I know where we are now. We're not too far away from home. Okay, let's get down here into the river. That poor guy is taking quite a beating, really, isn't he? I feel a little bit guilty. It's okay, buddy. It'll be worth it in the end. We'll, we'll set you up with a nice home. Yeesh, I sort of bought a leash. Come on. It seems like every time he tries to turn... Okay, we're, we're gonna be alright now, yeah? We're cool? We're cool. I think it's just flat land now, once we get after the, out of this area. Yeah, it should just be relatively easy to get back now. Man, this has been a stressful episode. I was, uh, you know, when I when I first decided to do the snapshot, I was like, oh, it'll be a nice change of pace, nice break from building. But no, no, this was most definitely not relaxing. But it's going to be worth it because we've got a horse now, meaning we can get places crazy fast. Not that there are many places to go at the moment, but that's not the point. Here we go. Home sweet home. Right, where do you want to live then, guy? Do you want to live near the cows or do you want to live with the villagers? I'm thinking the villagers is going to be a better option. And this means that I can do what I wanted to do a while back, which is to put a tunnel round about here. This area, which I hollowed out a while back. We can put a tunnel here for him to ride through and up. Right, we're back home. Let's just see if I can remember where I put my slime balls. Oh, you can't fit through here, can you? Ooh, I didn't think about that. Might have to change this area and how this area works then. Seeing as we now have a horse. Whew, right. Okay, well, you're just going to chill here. Be friends with the be friends with these guys. It's left shift now, isn't it? Don't wander too far. I'm trusting you, all right? Okay, you 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 seem trustworthy enough. What do I do with that string? Now I'm going to go and check a billion and one chest to find the string. You know what? Never mind. We will leave a leash to the next episode because we're getting on to half an hour now. That's more than enough for an episode. And to be honest, I'm not sure my heart can take any more searching and stress and near deaths. So Whew. hopefully you've enjoyed this episode, guys. I hope it's been worth it. All this pain and suffering. You and I... Oop, I forgot that mounted you. You and I are going to have a lot of fun here, buddy. We're going to come up with... Probably some games involving fishing rods, if I'm totally honest. That's where I can see this going. Probably not with creepers again, though. I'm going to learn my lesson. So, hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Um, don't know what we'll do next time. We really should get back to work on that village. And we will definitely build this guy a stable. But uh, until next episode, take care, guys. And I will see you then.